Travis went good, so. So uh, we got ourselves a little bit of snow this morning. And so as Utah Mormons are statistically known as the worst drivers ever in the universe, you can be guaranteed dozens of accident reports for today. I don't know why Mormons don't want to be Mormon. It makes no sense to me. Here's a uh, comment by one of my terrorist haters. And he even edited it. His channel name is New Jerusalem. And he's responding to my LDS Exodus pattern of Jesus Christ. Now Mormons have been led to believe that we're Christian. We're not Christian. Joseph Smith never said we're Christian. He used code names. But you won't check the listing of code names in the Doctrine and Covenants. It was done by the church, so it's safe. But it's inaccurate because there's more code names that they didn't get to. And so if the Smiths use code names in the Doctrine and Covenants beyond what the church claims they did, does it ever stop to occur to you that maybe there's something else published by them that could be encoded too? Like the 1838 history, gold plates, talking with the dead, talking about the latter days. Seeing Jesus face to face without the necessary requirements that we are told we have to have in Mormonism. Those things just slide right on by as you don't care. You're born Mormon, you're raised Mormon, you'll die Mormon. You don't care that the church is scamming you, that the prophets are lying to you. So what is the name of our Christ? It's not Jesus. It's Amun. So what is the name of the church? If it is supposed to be after the name of the Christ, what then is supposed to be the name of the church? Again, you don't care. It's Amun, not Jesus. And so in the first vision, you say that Joseph Smith is wrong. It's not Amun, it's Jesus, who says that Jesus is an abomination in his sight. It just goes right over your head. You say Joseph Smith is wrong. It's not Nephi who came to him. It was Moroni. You say Joseph Smith is wrong. It wasn't gold plates. It was golden. You keep saying Joseph Smith is wrong, 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 wrong. But the church is true. You keep saying Joseph Smith is criminal, but he's inspired by God? You're not catching on, and maybe you don't care. But New Jerusalem is a dumbass. Literally. He doesn't understand just like you don't understand. He says, there is a city that has been built that is unoccupied and is being maintained waiting for you. Really? Wow! It is northeast of El Dorado, Texas, formerly owned and built by Warren Jeffs. 
you see how stupid this guy is? This is a hate comment. Out of ignorance. This guy doesn't know Mormonism. He doesn't know the doctrine. He doesn't know Joseph Smith. He doesn't know my video content. He doesn't care to. He thinks he's funny. As the YFZ Ranch, it even has a temple ready to go. Now why? Why is this a hate comment? A religious bigoted hate comment? Because Warren Jeffs is a branch off of Brigham Young. The false Christ of the great and abominable church. See how he doesn't get it? See how stupid he is? This guy is a complete and utter moron who is not understanding my videos but he watches them clear to the end every single video he even stalks me he knows my address he knows my IP address he knows my phone number my email and yet he's stupid a complete and utter moron because he thinks that because the church isn't true that I'm one of these branch offs from Brigham he cannot accept that Brigham is false and that I'm trying to restore Joseph's organization this is the frustration of dealing with Mormons their hate based on their ignorance they don't study their scriptures because if they do they might learn the truth and leave the church they're scared to study to do research to try to understand their own Mormonism And so they're all about being Christian. Because the majority of the world is one form of Christianity or another. And so if Mormons go around saying, oh, we're Christian too, don't hurt us, don't persecute us, we're victims of our past, you're going to have to dismiss Joseph. You're going to have to dismiss the Book of Mormon. You're going to have to dismiss the origins of our church. And then once you're fully Christianized, what's the point of your religion? Why have the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Other Christian churches don't force you to pay tithing. They just guilt trip you into the prosperity gospel. So why be Mormon? If you want to be Christian, there are plenty of Christian churches to choose from already. Thousands. And there are even some that don't even have organized religion. So why be Mormon? Because you don't care to be Mormon. You allow these prophets to con and fraud you. And right there with the name of our Christ, you know they're the bad guys. Because it's Amun, not Jesus. But with Nelson, it has to be Jesus. and yet you don't see it's wrong
There are just certain predictable things with Mormons. And the traffic is just one of them. <laughs>